ladies and gentlemen welcome to the channel today i'm going to show you two pioneers of the crm world we're looking at odoo and we are also looking at zoho so without further ado let us jump in to each one of them so first of all having a look at odoo Odoo is a comprehensive business management software which offers a wide array of special features to streamline your operations. From integrated applications for sales, operations, manufacturing, marketing and human resources to real-time collaboration, customizable workflows and robust reporting tools, Odoo provides a centralized platform for businesses to manage all aspects of their efficiency. Additionally, Odoo's user-friendly interface, scalability and flexible pricing options, which we'll get into later, make it a valuable solution for businesses of all sizes. Now having a look at Zoho, which is a core CRM a leading customer relationship management software which provides a range of special features tailored to enhance the customer interactions and drive sales growth. With features like lead management, sales automation, email marketing and analytics, Zoho CRM empowers businesses to manage customer relationships effectively. Additionally, Zoho CRM offers customization options, mobile access, and integrations with other Zoho applications, as you can see of the many over here, which makes it a versatile and powerful tool for businesses looking to optimize their sales processes. So the first thing I would like to discuss and this is very dear to my heart, this is a very important element for any piece of software, is the interface. Now, is it easy for a beginner to use? I don't want to spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to use a piece of software that is trying to make my life easier, right? So having a look at um, Odoo, it's very very easy to use it's straightforward you have um, if you have a look on the right hand side a ton of different views that you can actually see all of your um, sales your um, all of your appointments everything in so it's absolutely easy to use you can um, create new leads right over here just by clicking this plus button you can also click this new button here you can generate leads with Odoo quite easily just by entering in a bunch of information as to what country you are trying to target the industry you're trying to target and the type of um, position within that company that you're trying to target and you can quite easily generate leads okay right from here so once you tap on that generate leads it literally just generates like new leads with their contact details okay so as you can see over here it includes the contact details absolutely amazing this is a lovely feature and you can also click down and you can move your cards around and it also gives you a total over here at the top of your um, list as to what your um, expected revenue is the total expected revenue of all your cards so for example we've got um, this one over here and then we're going to just move it over now you can see this total is 10 if you move this over here it actually adds up that total another nice thing i love is that recognition once you move it to the one list you get a um a congratulations from um, the Odoo team, which is amazing. Now, um, you can see over here, I'm going to just go over to the calendar view. And in the calendar view as well, you can see it's very easy to organize yourself here. You can see um, everything that's happening all on one space. If you're putting it in a list form, again, you can see everything that's happening from the actual opportunity, the contact name, contact details, uh, the salesperson that you have assigned within your team to that um, opportunity, the expected revenue, what stage it's on, and then all the other details over there. So having a look at the interface on Odoo, it's amazing, easy to use, and very, very simple. Let's have a look at Zoho and um, how it actually 
um, compares in terms of usability. Now, immediately I'm having a look at this and it's it's very busy. Okay, it's not in one single form like Odoo is from left to right. They've got these cards up here at the top. So you've got open deals, untouched deals, um, calls today and leads. And I understand this is a home page. It's basically showing you everything. If you go up to the top of the page, you can see that it does have its individual categories. We're going into leads now. And here you can see this and it's in a list form. OK, so you can change again what it looks like. Let's move it to a Kanban view. And again, you can now um, customize your your Kanban view. Uh, so we're just going to select um, what industry it's in. And um, there we go, we can say save. Now you can see all of your details in the Kanban view. All right, so the um, interface is pretty much the same if you have a look at it like this. You can also click down and move your cards across. It also gives you that total in terms of um, the um, estimated amount. And again, you know, you can go ahead and you can change um, everything about every one of these lists um, the header at the top as well as the actual card itself okay so it is fully customizable they do have on the left hand side here a filter uh, leads by so here you can easily and quickly filter uh, your leads which uh, you can do on Odoo as well um, it's just not right in here so you can use this uh, drop down menu but it's not in your face so having a look at the two interfaces uh, to be completely honest um, the Zoho interface does look a little bit more uh, complex as a beginner as a beginner user I think um, really that the Odoo just seems simpler for me to use all right, ladies and gentlemen, let us talk about the money at the end of the day. What do these products cost? OK, so having a look at Odoo, first of all, they do offer a one app free package. OK, it's absolutely free. The only thing is that you will be buying credits for the lead generation. So this generating leads over here, this actually costs credits. OK, but you can use one app for free and this is one of all of these apps that you see right over here okay so it does offer a free package that's great it then moves on to the standard package for $13.50 and um, you have access to all apps now Odoo has tons of apps they have hundreds of apps that you can use to run your business doesn't matter what industry you're in it doesn't matter what department you're working in within your company Odoo has absolutely something for everybody and then uh, starting at $20 you can actually customize your plan um, you can have uh, use of the Odoo Studio uh, which will allow you to use some of their integrations you can do some automations there as well and they're multi-company and then of course the external API which you can integrate APIs in so going in now to the Zoho pricing structure um, immediately off the bat their standard um, package is $12 and um, it's automate and optimizing your sales cycle and moving over then to the professional package, it's $20. Now, the custom plan at Odoo is $20. Having a look at Zoho, you're going all the way up to $45. Now, you can see that, yes, it has quite a few features over here. Um, but if you want to compare the two platforms and have a look at what pricing range they're coming in at, Odoo coming in with a free one app plan allows you to really get a feel for the platform and really uh, use it without actually having to first spend money the second point for me really is that it looks and feels so easy to use okay um, compared to Zoho just jumping in initially as a beginner user it just feels a lot easier to use also and the last point the lead generation that they have over here this literally gives you leads without you actually having to go and look for them now Zoho does allow you to import leads but it doesn't actually generate its own leads for you right so in conclusion having a look at these two platforms 
if you are a bit of an advanced user maybe you need a little bit more detail zoho is amazing however in my personal opinion odoo is perfect for the beginner somebody that's fresh in using crm um, and it'll probably do you a lot better because you're in a new environment with a new platform and you'd probably be more successful in using a platform like this what do you guys think leave your comments in the section below and we will see you in another awesome video cheers for now